Hello and welcome to episode 21 of the Rivercats 9 Lives podcast. Our guest this week is Jason Krizan. Take me through it a little bit, Chris. So first of all, you're on the taxi squad, you get called up. Brendan did not get the opportunity to tell you, uh, to kind of mess with you a little bit, but tell us how it all went down. So, I, I mean, it was a, it was a chaotic week, but um, I'm very thankful for the week. Uh, Rundy called me after the day game on Sunday, I believe. Yeah. Um, and he told me that uh, I was going on the taxi squad, so flew on a red eye to Milwaukee, met the team. And then once we got to Milwaukee, they said, hey, uh, we're not going to activate you today. We're going to fly you to San Francisco. And so flew to San Francisco. Uh, a couple of days go by, and then they tell me on Friday that I'm activated, and I get to start in my first Major League Baseball game. It was, it was unbelievable. Uh, the Giants were awesome. They, they did all of the the work. They, it was it was super welcoming. Um, they, they got my entire family out there to to watch, and so cool. it was. Uh, it was unbelievable. I can't. I can't even begin to explain my gratitude to the Giants. Yeah. Um, so you talk about your 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 wife's reaction, and and I know you FaceTimed her. She had that's the only really communication you had with her uh, to, to tell her what was that like. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Um, she was definitely more emotional than I was. Yeah. Um, not saying that I wasn't excited, but um, she's been with me for. For my, for not the entire career, but most of it, sure. most of the most of the stressful times, I'll say. Yeah. Um, and so to see her reaction, and uh, she she was basically speechless, and told me to go call my parents. Yeah. So uh, it was cool to see, and uh, uh, I hadn't seen my my family since the end of spring training. Yeah. So whenever whenever I got out to BP that day, they were standing right there. Carter came up to me and and gave me a hug and a kiss, and yeah. it, and that was about the only time I got emotional. Yeah. So it was it was really cool. Chris, the nerves when you're going out to left field for the first inning. Just did did you look up? Did you see the packed house? Did what what were the what was the feeling like there? Um, you know, I tried to I tried to avoid the nerves if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, most of the stadiums that I've played in in my t- my career don't have three decks. Right. So um, I didn't look up in the third deck until I got my base hit. Okay. Um, the nerves weren't there. The Giants make it really easy to play baseball yeah. and focus on the game. So um, I told the reporters in San Francisco that the jitters weren't there for the most part. Um, it was... Uh, it was an unbelievable experience. Uh, the The welcoming feeling that I got from the entire organization was awesome. Yeah. And uh, like I said earlier, I couldn't. I can't thank the Giants enough. You know, the thing is, you had some at bat. You had some quality at bats. You lined out. You had that hard shot up the middle that was snagged. So I think at that point, you're like, look. I can play up here. I know I can play up here. You weren't overmatched at all, so you're like, "This is good." Did that help your confidence going into the into the games. For sure. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> before the game, everybody's saying uh, or d- dapping each other up, saying, "Let's let's go," and kind of getting ready, getting ready to go out to the field. And uh, one thing that stood out is uh, Crawford came up to me and he said, "Let's go." Same game. Yeah. Don't even stress it. Yeah. So. Uh, it, it was it was cool. That's awesome. And you get the ovation at first base, and that's when you're like the nerves started because you looked around, kind of took it all in, right? Oh yeah, I got to first base after the hit, and uh, Aunt go, Aunt told me to take a look around and uh, soak it all in. And so that was that was the time that I uh, I it it was awesome. Standing ovation. Yeah. It was it was really cool. One thing I like about you, Chris, is last year when I asked you, I asked you for a pregame show, and I didn't know who you were when I wasn't on the club. I was like, "By the way, I'm Chris. I'm going to talk to you in an hour." Uh, you said uh, when I interviewed you at the end, I said, "You know, your big league time is coming, whatever." And you said, "You know what? Hey, I'm going to play this game. If it does, it does." I think you just you just played your game, head down to the grind. I think that's the way you played your whole career, right? Yeah, no doubt. Um, <clears throat> you all you can do is play, yeah. and uh, at the end of the day, if you get get wrapped up into things that are outside of your control um it's going to eat you alive and um 
I, I do my best to not focus on the outside sources that I have no control over. And all I can do is go play my game each and every day. And whenever the time comes for me to go up or whatever, it's, it's my time. I, I don't make those decisions. Um, so all I can do is focus on my game, like you said. You know, I like what Crawford said because it's the same game. Whether you're in this clubhouse, you're in the major league clubhouse, it's the same game, and he's absolutely right on that. And it, people have to realize that it's hard. It's hard to imagine because you get all the all the fanfare that comes with the big leagues and all that. But if it's the same exact game, exactly. Um, yeah, and and him saying that helped me tremendously, yeah. and I don't think he even realizes that um, <clears throat> a player of his stature is. It speaks volumes. Yeah. Well, when Car- Carter's older, he'll understand. He doesn't understand now. It's just like right. Daddy's playing baseball. Oh, he's running around. But that's going to be cool when he's able to grasp it and say, "You were there, man." Yeah, for sure. And I think it's it's going to my journey and my my career is going to <clears throat> be a lesson for him at some point to not ever give up on on your dreams yes. and. Uh, and a lot of times they're achievable and you don't even realize it. So, yeah. um, yeah, being able to tell him that I played in the major leagues is going to be super fulfilling. It's going to make me super happy. And I think he's going to be happy too. One more before you go. One thing I was even more pleased with just watching your at bats and hearing about him was the fact that here you were in your first or second at bat the day you got your hit and you didn't press, you took the walk. You know, it would have been easy to try to fish and say, I got to get a hit. You kind of knew you were going to be sent out. You kind of, everybody knows, you know, you know, like, think guys are coming off the IL, so you're like, I'll probably be sent out. You didn't press. You took that walk. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Um, like I said earlier, all, all you can do is play your game. Yeah. And so you, you don't want to try and do too much. Um, yeah, I mean, the hit was looming in the back of my mind, but at the same time, uh, the focus is winning ball games. And, yeah. If I go if I go out of my way and try and do too much and try and force the hit, then <clears throat> chances are I'm not going to get the hit. Yeah. And uh, uh, I want to whatever team I'm on, I want to help them win. Yeah. That's that's the focus. All right. Hey, listen. Thanks for the visit. Uh, we're all fired up. We're all emotional about it. We appreciate the chat, and we'll uh, get back up there. Or you know, look, you're in the baseball encyclopedia now. But uh, great to uh, catch up with you, and we're all pleased with what happened. Thanks. Thank you. And I, I mean. I want to, I want to go ahead, go out and say, thank you to the clubhouse here. Thank you to you, Johnny, and uh, I mean, all the love and support has been overwhelming, and I can't thank you all enough. Thank you for listening to the Rivercats Nine Lives podcast, hosted by Johnny Dosco. Please like, subscribe, and share with all your baseball-loving friends. And make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. 